Hey everyone, Henry from Omnibus Tutorials here, and I came across another GMAT question that I solved using Excel. Now the question is right here, and I'm just going to zoom in by holding control and scrolling forward on the scroll wheel on my mouse. The question is, a ramble sample of citizens contains people registered to vote and not registered to vote in the ratio 12 to 5 respectively. How many people not registered to vote are there if the sample contains 153 people? And these are our answers. A9, B33, C37, D45, E47. Now, the, this question isn't hard, but it can be a bit tricky. So what I've done is I've taken the ratio of registered to not registered, so 12 to 5. I'm just going to add those using alt and equals. And that's going to auto sum it. I'm going to hit enter, and that gives me 17. And I have the total sample of 153. So I'm just going to see how many times this ratio goes in to 153, and I call that num of ratio. And I'm just going to take 153, divide by 17, hit enter. It gives us nine, which is an answer, but it is not the answer. It's not asking how many number of ratios are there. And that's where it can be tricky. You see a nine, you saw a nine, and uh, you automatically solve it, but you have to plug it back in. So we're going to have to take the number of ratios times the number of not registered, and that's going to give us 45. And we see 45 here. I'm just going to color this green really quickly. And that is the correct answer, D. So that's how I solved this GMAT problem using Excel. I hope you all enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe.